Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about Lang Chain with Grok as well as with Chainlit, right? In my previous video, I showed you how to use Llama 3 model via Olama as well as I showed you three different websites from where you can quickly try uh, Llama 3 model. Now, what if you want to create your own simple chat UI with Chainlit using Lang Chain, right? So that is what exactly we are going to do. And uh, it will not be that long video. Let's get started. Okay. First thing first, we need to go to our GitHub. By the way, many people recently joined, so I just want to show you different pieces, how we can join together to create a simple chat UI, right? So here, what we are going to use, the tech stack being used, is we are going to use Llama 3 from the Grog website. You can see that it has really fast inference. I will first show you in the Grog's website itself, and then we will use that model into our code. And the next one is Langchain as a framework for LLMs. And there is Lang Smith for developing, collaborating, testing, deploying, and monitoring your LLM applications. That is really needed if you want to create chat UI or if you want to create a RAG applications, right? You can take this approach and build a RAG application on top of it later. And we are going to use chain lead for deploying or creating the simple chat UI right all the instructions are mentioned here step by step first you need to clone it you need to go inside this uh, particular repository and you need to first create the virtual environment and activate the virtual environment after that you need to provide all the let's say environment variables here so lang chain uh, variables are these four of these and the last one is the, the grox api key so first let's go with the grok api key right for the grok api key this is the grox website i will provide the link in the description from here you can try different models example here you can choose different models there is already llama 3 8b8192 as well as llama 3 70b8192 right you can choose any of this model let's say we want to go first go with the llama 3 8b we click this one i just want to uh, click this and as you can see it says you are in the queue and then yeah now let's say we already passed the queue and there is the answer and it is a little bit slower here because i think that grog has now been so much popularized and many people are talking about grog and many people are using it of course if they are talking then they are using it right so that's the reason you can see that the inference time seems to be a little bit low here but if you go on a higher level it is 759.41 transactions per second that is quite huge right just try this and just try it yourself. I just want to say try it yourself because I have already tried and it's really good inference time. And now there is Llama 370B also. Let's just click on this one and let's clear the chat and ask the same question. Okay, go for this one. Okay, you are in the queue. If you want to stop, you can stop. And once we are not in the queue, yeah. As you can see here, this is how fast the inference is for the also. And now it is 297.83. And this transaction per second keeps on changing. You can go here and try it for free. But we want to use it via API, right? For that, we need to go to Grok Cloud. And I am showing you the API key because I'm going to delete after the video. So you can go here and create the new API key. That's it. It's free. You can try uh, using it. And once you get that, what you can do is go to this place and replace that API key here, right? And now next one is the Lang Smith. I said you, this is the website. I have already created this Llama 3 chat with documents here, but you can just name it anything here and it will show you all the traces. So you know how much time it take, right? For example, here I am just showing two different LLM calls, but when I ask different LLM calls, it will be refreshed and we will see other also. So from here, what we can see is what is the input, what is the output, what is the latency and so on. If you are completely new again, I have created the Lang Smith videos before. Please refer to that for in depth understanding about the Lang Smith. Now, I have already cloned this particular repository. I will go to my terminal here. I have already activated the virtual environment, installed the necessary packages also. As you can see here, I said install the necessary packages. I will open this in VS Code just to show you the code. Let me bring you the code from the another screen here. So yeah, here as you can see, there is the normal normal files and 
example.env is here. I have just renamed these to .env so that I, I can have the environment variables. I can even show you now because as I said, I'm going to delete this after this video. So yeah, Grok API key and all the Langchain related stuffs are here. And the main file here is the Langchain Grok chain lead.py file. So here we are just importing the necessary things here. And uh, okay, CL on chat start. What we want to do is first we want to have the element and we want to show some image. Uh, so it looks good, chat UI. And we are saying, hello there, I'm Grok, how can I help you? And then inside there, we are going to use the Llama 3 70 billion 8192 model from the Grox API or Grox website, let's say. And here you can just use your own chat prompt template. I'm giving here the system prompt. You are a very knowledgeable machine learning engineer. So it provides us the answer based on that, right? And then there is the runnable prompt model string output part i hope you know how the langchain expression language works right so this is how it works and now the chain lead on message and we just pass that runnable so, and then we have this message so cl.message and the content is here and yeah that's it and we just send it and then after this we will have a simple looking chat ui so yeah i'm going to go to the terminal here and i will run here chain lead run langchain grog chain lead dot pi this is the file that I'm going to run, right? I will run enter here and it is going to run in the local host 8000. And as you can see here, this is the chat UI that we want to have. And here, this is the image that I showed you. Okay, this is the image that will be shown here. So now here you can ask the question similar to how we ask the question in the Grox website. So I have already asked some questions before. So I'll just go here and say, okay, what is ML flow answer in five sentence? I will just ask this question and just send it. Now it is going to the um, Grox API and it is providing the answer from there. So as you can see, it is running there. It takes, of course, some time. As you see before, also there is some lag because yeah, many people are using it and still they are providing free. That is actually a good point here. And yeah, let's see if it provides the answer or not. And what we can do when this is running is also we can just copy this and go to the website here right we can clear this and we can go here and ask the question same question here okay what is ml flow answer in five sentence so yeah it provides the answer already here in five sentence but in our chat it is taking some time because of the api things so it is not uh, providing us the answer what we can do we can stop this and we can again go here and ask okay what is ml just send it yeah, as you can see here, the inference time is quite fast, right? Now we can ask the same question here. What is ML flow? Answer in five sentences. So it will provide us the answer quite fast here, right? So before it was just running because maybe there was some issue with the connection. So now you can just have a simple chat UI. You can ask whatever you want, taking the help of Grox um, API and using the Llama 3 uh, model. Okay, so now let's go and see if the traces are being recorded in the Lang Smith or not, right? If we go here and if I refresh the page, okay, as you can see here, there are all the API calls that I made into the Grox uh, API key. Before there was two of these and then there were three now being added. If you click on top of this, then you can see, okay, this is the system message, this is the human message, and this is the output that is provided by the API key. So you can go here and see, okay, what is the tokens, how many time it took, what is the metadata, and so on. And as I said before also, you can take help of the uh, complete beginners to Lang Smith video that I created some time ago. Now, next, what you can do is if you go to my GitHub or you can even go to my uh, YouTube, there are different videos that I have created using the Grox API and using Llama 3 or mixed troll models. What you can do is quickly change that model into Llama 3 and then use Llama 3 for your RAG applications. So now I just showed you a simple chat UI, but you can now convert that into a RAG applications, just change the model uh, in the API and that's it. So yeah, that's what I want to show you in this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.